guys, the Amos Box here, and welcome to a brand new series called Let's Try. The whole point of this series is for me to be able to play, well, make more con different types of content for the channel, as well as for myself to try different games um, over the, well, over the past couple of years that I've collected, or games that I want to try, but just can't really make into a good Let's Play series on YouTube. So that allow everyone to have more content and for me to play different games that I necessarily couldn't play on, uh, play and upload on YouTube. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, the way this series will basically work is that we'll be, um, do streams of the game. Then that VOD will then be uploaded alongside an edited version of that stream. And if the series does well or I just really, really enjoy the game, we'll have a let's play of it um, right afterwards. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Uh, yeah, but today we'll be playing Surviving Mars. If you didn't know, Surviving Mars is free on the Steam... Steam, yeah, it's on free on Steam. I think it was free on uh, Epic Games a while back as well. Um, but I'm only playing it because it's on Steam, and I don't really like Epic Games that much. Uh, I don't like the launch that much, that's why. But Surviving Mars is basically uh, trying to colonize Mars uh, and doing it successfully without killing everyone and failing the mission. That is the whole premise of it. And you basically got to go through a bunch of challenges and such and so on. Now, knowing this is a Paradox game, there's one thing that uh, will concern me is obviously the DLC. Uh, if you don't know Paradox, they have a policy that seems to dictate that every game they have will have a crap ton of DLC. Um, I bought basically all the DLC for Storalis, except for Plant Boys, I think. And hopefully for I have parts of Irons for, I just have a bunch of DLC. So, depending on how well this game goes, if it's a good game, You'll probably see me buying the DLC. We'll see how that goes. But then let's delve into the game. Enough talking. Let's see what this game has to offer. All right, so we got all our stuff here. We can rename our colony as well. What am I gonna name it? Um, let's just call it Project SPK. Oh, let's see how we go. Oh wait, no, we still have more. Okay. Uh, what is this? I don't know what's useful here. I'm just gonna leave it on the preset. Hey, yeah, I should leave it on the preset. Again, I wish I could ask someone, but I don't think I can. Oh, our oh, rocket's blue. I like blue. Uh, anyways, we're just gonna go with that because I have no idea. Uh, Alright, what is this? So, relatively flat. Okay, so we get to choose difficulty challenge, 315%. Is that bad? <laughs> I don't- this feels really bad. Why is it difficulty- 315 does, does that imply it's three times harder than normal? I'm a little concerned, but... Uh, what? Why is this number so high? Guys, oh no. Um, I'm a little concerned. I will say that much. I feel like we take this. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll go to, um, Serenum Beta. Alright, let's do that, shall we? Welcome to Mars, Commander. Mission Control, log number one. Welcome to Mars. Well, everyone on the mission controls and patient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo. Our remotely controlled eyes and hands on the red planet, the drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian dome. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers, the pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. Yeah. But until we have to, uh, until we have to make sure the colony. Uh, but until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources, water, oxygen, and power. Mission sponsor, Spacefly, commander profile, rocket scientist. So we got randomly sent this rocket scientist anyways. Uh, probably for the best. If that was the, the original one we got selected, I could sort of understand that. Uh, welcome to Mars. Let's think of building a landing site for the rocket. Uh, okay, so we just got to... I guess that's the help tip. Wow, that's a lot of information on the screen. Ah, uh, what... Immediately scans the sectors for deposits and anomalies. Okay, so it's like, we sort of try... Okay, probes will instantly scan the sector of the map. I'm guessing we want to want to scan everything, so that probably would be a good idea. Um, let's scan a second area. Let's go all the way over here. That has 34 metals, one underground metals. Okay. Uh, that has no concrete, though. we need concrete. Let's go... yeah? Two, one metal, one concrete, two metals. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, I think we're gonna start in this area because, honestly, everything we've looked at so far... 
That does not look great. I think we need to have concrete to begin, so we're gonna try and do that. So we'll start here. We'll start at 6 to 15. And we've got some anomalies. Uh, so let's detect research. What does this do? Research technologies. Researching will unlock various benefits for the colony. Researching any technology will make a new technology in this field available for research. Changing your active research to preserve the progress of the previously researched technology. Okay. Uh, research. Let's just queue up everything. Yeah, let's just research everything. Alrighty, let's look at Mars, shall we? Looking pretty rugged. Looking very all well, everywhere, basically, is the best way to put it. Um, but I'm guessing we can build wherever we want, which is pretty nice. Let's land it right here. Because we want to be close to the concrete, I believe. Alright, let's, um, let's go capture our rocket landing. Let's see our first rocket landing. Gotta touch down very soon. Look at the rocket go. Yay. Nice. Our first rocket's down. It's also blue. I like that our, our rocket is blue. It matches exactly what I would like to see. Uh, camera controls, I know how to do camera controls. Uh, building construction, yep, I know how to do that as well. Ooh, we have our RSC transporter. Used to carry resources at long range. I'm gonna pause. Uh, or to gather resources from surfaces, deposits, or to give it with the button. So we can control our robots as well, that's pretty cool. Uh, transport can establish a supply route between two points on the map. Alright, that seems pretty cool. And we got vehicle orders and stuff as well. And we have our drones, which does all the other work. Cool. I think we need to make a drone hub first. We probably want to have a drone hub, like, right in the smack bang in the center here, where we have a lot of our stuff. I think this seems like a good position. We're gonna make a drone hub right there. Uh, I'm gonna put a recharging station near our drone hub, I'm guessing. So there's actually two ways we can do about recharging stations, I feel. We could probably put it next, near our concrete things, or we can... I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna put one near our, uh, our drone hub for now. If it, if it turns out not to be a viable position later, we'll figure that out. That costs one rare metals. We have rare metals on our ship, don't we? Um, basic resources, what is this? Metals. Uh, I'm guessing we're gonna need to get some drones to get some metals then. Uh, that's some metal deposits right there. Wanna get that to start mining that. Uh, get that one to mine that. Um, I don't know if the drones will do things on their own, so we'll probably figure that out as things go along. In terms of places to store things, I want to store things quite close to our concrete. I want to make sure that's pretty, um, well settled. I want to put that here. Actually, no, we'll put it here. Put it right here? I mean, I don't really think that's going to be important, but concrete's going to be important to get that started. And after that, I want to have some storages for all this stuff. So put a universal storage right Yep. And we'll have another universal storage right Oh, that's sort of annoying that doesn't line up, actually. That's going to trigger the fact that I like things to be neatly aligned. Oh, we got an anomaly. I don't know what those do. We'll put a concrete deposit nearby as well. Alright, looks good. Building not working. Right, we need power. Right, I forgot to build the power thing. Um, we'll put the sterling generator. Let's say, where do we want power generation? Over here? Uh, I'm gonna put it here for now because I want to make sure things are connected relatively well. And I don't know if cables block into each other yet either, so we'll see how that works. Alright, we need to connect that metal. Uh, we need to connect this. This is a, this is pretty overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff, and I have no idea what it does. So that's fun. Uh, let's just do a huge ass cable here. If it blocks everything, then we'll figure that as the time goes along. But for now, we're just gonna do that. Um, it should be fine. It should be fine. Should be fine. That's what I like to say. Alright. Um. I want to make fuel next, so we can send up the rocket again, because we want to make some more stuff. So we got to figure out how we make, um, fuel. Power? Is it a power? Drone hub. Solar panel. Electronics factory. Fuel refinery. Actually, it's a good question. If we don't have any, um, any means to make fuel, how the hell are we going to send our rocket back up? That's a good question. Maybe I should have played the tutorial, hey? In hindsight, probably a good idea. I have no idea what, what... How do we get fuel? How do we get fuel? Resupply. 
A Kage rock can destroy, uh, de uh for, ex for advan example, such as advanced polyamorous machine. Okay, so we can get another rocket down. All right, let's see, cargo rocket. Okay, we can, we can, so we can get another rocket. Okay, cool. We can get another rocket. Cool. Uh, I will honestly say, recommend, do the tutorial, folks. Holy moly, it's just overwhelming. It's super overwhelming, like, just by myself. I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyways, we're gonna get prefab buildings. We're gonna get, I think Dreadhouse is fine. We're gonna get, um, one moisture vaporizer, one fuel refinery. Two stelling generators, I think it's gonna be good. Maybe machine part factories might be useful. We might get that. Actually, let's see. Um, uh, what? Wait, actually, let's see. Because we need to make sure what we, we can maintain our drones, basically. So what do we use to repair our drones? Uh, technology dust will event when capsulated if not cleaned regularly. Okay. Doesn't tell me how to maintain them, unfortunately. Can you give me a... Can you tell me how to maintain drones game? Come on. Uh... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm melting down. Meltdown. Oh dear. Want to get an RC Explorer? That's important. Let's get two orbital probes, shall we? Let's maximize the space here. Um, get ten of that. Five of that. We will get two of these things. Uh, we c actually we, we can make both of those. Let's get some more machine parts. I want to get more polyamides as well. All right, we'll launch this. Uh, it's one point. F wow, that's a lot of money, but. Um, that's sort of what we're gonna have to do for now, and we're gonna, that way we're gonna be able to finally get this rocket up. I think in hindsight, I should have loaded this rocket up with, um, things that would allow it to function properly and better, but oh well. Oh, mission goals! Mission goals! I found it! Okay, what does this do? <laughs> um, starts with additional drones. Oh, because so we got more drones from that, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I want an extra rocket, bonus tech, okay. So I'm guessing we want to go through each of these mission goals. If we can pl- oh, okay. I don't know why I said in that accent. But okay, this makes a bit more sense now. So we need to generate more power. Alright, that's our first goal. Refuel rocket, the same so it lands. What is that meant to mean? I have no idea. Building center tower. Center tower significantly boosts your scanning seed for nearby sectors. They also give it advanced warning for disasters. Note that center towers require electrical power that must be provided by power generating generating buildings such as large solar panels. Okay. Let's not build our solar panels array too far away. Let's build it here. So my plan is I want to make sure that we have separated power connections so that if we do build buildings, none of it just basically closes down all at once, right? Logically, that's a smart way to think about things. Maybe that's a bad way to go about things, but if we separate it, if one section goes down, that whole, not only that section goes down, so not everything goes down at once. Big brain. Big brain. Yes, big brain. <laughs> so we're gonna have a wind generation power here. We can definitely build that. Then, we need a sensor tower, and I want to put it like, uh, nearby, I guess. Let's just put it here. Let's not put it too close, and then I want to put a charging cable, um, no, not a charging cable, a power cable connects to that. And then we want to have a battery here as well. All right, there's our next rocket. Let's, uh, let's watch it touch down from above this time. Let's see how it looks like. I think it's pretty cool, um, the way the rocket is. It's, I think it's like, it does, eventually you'll just be like, ah, it's just, it's just a rocket. Oh, I should put the speed down. That's all right. And there it is. And the good old logo right there as well. Very nice. Oh, we can actually see it open up this time as well. That's gonna be cool. Oh, that's so cool how that, like, that RC Explorer goes there. That's really nice. Okay. Uh, RC Explorer can they analyze anomalies. Alright, let's go there. Scan that and scan that. Alright, thank you, RC Explorer. Cool. Now we can figure out our water situation, shall we? Let's figure this out. Yeah, I want to still be relatively close to our, um, to our rockets. Because we can probably put a rocket site here then. Yeah, that makes more sense. We'll put it near the re full refinery. All right, let's connect the power up as well. Don't forget that. Power cables. Uh, we'll do that right there. That's good. And I think we need to connect our pipes as well. Pipes. All right, so we're going to go from here. Go like that. Uh, go like that. Yeah, that looks good. All right, that's going to connect that up together. Um, do we have to have um, storages for water? That's a good question. No, we don't. That's good. 
Oh. Okay. Why is it red? That's not good. Uh. Oh. That's infinitely cool. Turn to our advantage. Uh, we lost a drilling probe while trying to analyze this anomaly. The signal was suddenly lost, and the, we got the signal that we could get lucky with the second one. Number uh, operators were extra careful when the second op insertion revealed a vast network of underground cavities beneath the hard rock plate. On top of that, we managed to get in contact with the first probe, which had fallen through in another section of the crust fault. We uh, used the two probes as triangulation points for telemetry and pinpoint the location of the deposit. To cover the metal deposit. Very nice. So having a water tower here, we just basically make sure that we're always producing fuel, which is going to be important for us because we need fuel to do a lot of things at rockets and stuff, so... Um, yeah, I want to place quite a bit of importance on that. Pipes, that's all good. Hydroponic farm, we don't need to worry about food yet. That's all good. Oxygen take, we don't need to worry about oxygen. Screw that. Got into a pretty serious accident. The good news is, it's still in one piece. Okay, that's a little concerning. Um, okay, the machine stumbled upon a crest, a crust fault which could have lasted for a couple hundreds of years under the slow erosion of the planet. Disturbed by the mechanical motion of the scanning probes, the surface opened like a wound and swallowed the rover. Oh dear. Uh, luckily for one over only for a dozen meters. Okay, that uh, sounds still pretty large of a drop. Uh, the study machine got out of the hole, but nonetheless it sustained heavy damage. Millions of years ago, Mars has been... Shaken to its core by a cataclysmic impact, which sealed the fate of the planet. Since then, Mars, like all giants, is dying too slowly for mortal eyes to witness. Yet even today, the death of Rose of the Red Planet can be felt unmistakably. Has to be repaired by drones. Uh, where is that RC drone? Malfunctioned! No! Alright, let's go repair that, please. Things are slowly moving along. This is our colony right now. It's looking pretty nice. Um, we're getting our water generation up and we got our oxygen starting as well. So I guess we just build our dome next, which is sounds fine to me. Um, how's our research going? Research is going is good. Going well. Alright, hopefully that can work now. I do not like that sound where you like get a new sector. Like when you find a new anomaly basically, it's super scary sounding. Like, why the hell did they think that was a good like a good thing for that? Ugh. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I honestly do not know. I'm gonna build our first dome. I'm gonna connect some uh, power to it. So I think when we get our next rocket ship around, I want to get a, another couple of sterling generators. I want enough to basically make this self-sufficient. So self We're not relying on battery power. We have battery power just in case we have excess. I think that's important. Um, we're gonna connect water to these as well, actually. Just realized we do need to connect water. It's important. Alright, that should allow us to connect the pipes right there. Good. Hey, and we got our first rocket leaving Mars. Milestones achieved. We're doing pretty well. I think we're doing pretty well. How's our energy? 31-ish? It's alright. We I think we need to get our energy protection up is one of our milestones. Yeah, look at that go. Damn, that's that is looking beautiful. Hey, there we go. That requires water. Why does everything require water? Jeez, that's sort of annoying. <laughs> that's a little annoying, I'm gonna be honest. Why does everything important require water? It's like water's needed in a lot of things. Huh. Who would have thought? <laughs> hey, our landing bed's gonna be used. Alright, we're gonna slow down time. Oi, transporter, please move away from the launch pad. Don't get yourself destroyed. Because you're important and you cost a lot. More importantly, and we can't really replace that. Yeah. Alright, um, where's this rocket? Hey, there's this rocket! And it's gonna use our first launch patch, which is gonna be very nice. Ta-da! Phoenix one. Nice. I like Phoenix and I like Dragon. They're pretty cool names. Jesus, this, this RC transporter does not give a damn. It's like, if the rocket's gonna burn me, it, it may as well burn me. Like, test, test me, bro. Test me. That's what it's, that's li exactly what it's saying right now. <laughs> My gosh, alright. This is um, a Chad RC transport. It's an alpha. It's basically showing to the it's basically showing to the rocket. Ain't ain't give a damn. Do what you want. You can't do nothing to me. <laughs> it's going about starting to like drop the equipment down and we're gonna get this started. <gasps> it's tight construction! Our first drone is dome is tight construction. Very nice. <sighs> Alrighty, well, this game's a bit slow though, I must say. It feels really slow, like, waiting for everything to happen. I'm just gonna put on fast forward now. I mean, nothing can go wrong, right?
Tests are predictive models of the electrically charged dust devils. <laughs> look at that. Just look at the drones. Like, oh, crap. <laughs> I gotta run. People run. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. Science is well aware of the causes of the massive earth storms, monsoons, and tornadoes. And yet we never see said might have um, prime primeval forces on least before our eyes. The same goes for Martian electrostatic dust storms. Our scientists already had a good working model on the behavior of these uh, peculiar weather anomalies on the Red Planet. Now we can refine this model even further. With the current expedition clear and confirm their theory, yet I doubt anyone would ever cease to revere the massive dust storm. Uh, visitors recover a small amount of health and may become fit. Infirmary, okay. Casino complex security. Imagine, we just fill it up like to the brim with like casino complexes. <laughs> oh no, nah, that seems a little bit not very smart, I will be honest. Um, not exactly the smartest thing to do. Alright, uh, residential space 14, okay. Living space for children? Playground, school. School. Even on a Mars, you have to go to school. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're not, we're not gonna do that right now. Um, electronics store, that's alright. Art store, luxury shopping. A grocer might be useful, I think. Because we need something to produce food, right? Consumption of food. Services, food, and shopping. Oh, let's get that. We need an infirmary. I think that's important. A gym would be nice. Uh, we might get a gym as well. Uh, we'll have a space bar. Uh, yeah, we may just have a space well so people can actually um, relax and stuff. That's going to be important. Casino complex. I'm tempted, but probably not a good idea. Counter cries by renegades. Uh, we don't need crime, I think. We should be fine. Okay, yeah, we may as well build a gym. That's a good idea. Alright, this is going to re start requiring a lot of energy now. That might be a bad thing. Oh, that needs 50! Turn that off. Turn that off for now. We'll just we'll just turn that off for now. Just realize we don't have any food production, do we? We need that. We should probably get that, hey. Um what here produces food for us? We just waters hydroponics. Produces food, consumes water depending on crop type. Okay. Requires a dome. Oh okay, so we're gonna need to build that in there. Fair enough. That does make a bit more sense. Alrighty, I want to get a couple of botanists, which will be important for us. So if you have no specialization, please leave. Uh, we have two botanists. Right, I'm going to just leave, get everyone out here. I want to select them based on this. Alright, we have Aquana Garrison. Jeez, Garrison as a last name is an interesting one, I must say. Um, they are a botanist. Party ammo gains additional comfort when satisfying social interests. Okay, yeah. Work performance lowered by 10. <laughs> Alcoholic. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, sorry, no. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Alcoholic celebrity generates funding one at high comfort. I mean, she's a celebrity, may as well get along. Money's good. <laughs> Money's nice, you know. Money's sort of nice. Uh, loner. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I don't know if the game trying to, you know, call out the fact that I'm pretty much a big hermit, but, um. Hmm. Uh, loses uh, less health without food. Oh, that's good. A medic. That's going to be important. <laughs> Sexy. Greatly increased birth rate. <laughs> uh, religious. Highly in the individual based morale. Um, low sanity. Never leads to suicide. That's good. That's going to be a good medic for us. Uh, yeah. Officer Glutton eats double rations. No, we don't want that. All right. And yeah, that that is our selected 12. So you have Aqua Garrison, Clark Simpson. Savleta Tarasova, uh, Caleb Dayton, Bik Hasaya, Alexander Mahavov, uh, Nikit Nikodom Meh. I oh, have a lot of Russians actually, wow. Uh, Mahailov, uh, Howo. <laughs> Howo! Um, um, Cut, um, Courtney Jackson, a late Clayton, uh, Jr., medic, uh, Caroline Griffin, and um, Sierra, uh, Sierra Clark. All right, let's launch. And here are here's our first rocket, folks. We have people. Holy moly, this is yeah. It only took us two hours to get people. My gosh. Milestone achieved. All right, let's see the let's see the tiny people walk out. They're the first step on the first people on Mars. 
the f the next 10 souls will be dif uh, full of difficulties and dangers. But so with great promise and opportunities, it is now up to us uh, to prove that Mars can be a doorway to greater riches and the future of the human civilization. Even the most epic adventures start with a single step. That is not wrong. Alright, in fact, the arrival of additional colonists temporarily suspended until the colony proves to be able to sustain human life. Fair enough. You found the colonists must survive for 10 souls before additional people can arrive. I see. The colony will be evaluated positively before the period ends. Uh, in the event the first human is born on Mars, if you feel you up to ten, try constructing a medical building and raising the comfort of the found found as much as possible with service buildings. We do have two people, two females that are considered sexy. Uh, and, oh my! Oh, the things I do for content. Jeez, why do I hear baby noises? Oh my gosh, that is absolutely terrible. Thank goodness we built that far away from like the residential building. Um, but how are they crying babies when there's like no babies? Let's not ask questions that we don't like the answers to, hey? <clears throat> we recalibrated the operating spectrum for our scans and voila. Alright, the unusual chemical composition of the regolith near the anomaly site effectively shielded it from our data gathering. As we repurpose and improve our uh, scanning technology based on these new findings, we were rewarded with an unexpected surprise. Ah, a large... Ooh, 20,000 water, that is nice. I'm just gonna let time pass now. Um, yeah, but right now we just need more colonists, so I just, we, I think we, I, I just, I propose that we prepare for the next colonists pretty much, and then we'll just get more ma materials where needed. Um, when needed, basically. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, we want to get some. We want to get the stuff needed for that. Uh, wow, we need metals. Really? Um, is this not producing enough metals? Uh, that's not a lot of metals, is it? Oh, oh dear. Hmm. Oh dear. Um, might send a drone hub over here then, or we might get. A transporter. Um, we're gonna get to load resources. Let's get a transport route. So it's gonna load. Uh, I think this is like the metal is. I'm gonna get metals and wanna transfer it over here. Uh, remote control, use it to establish permanent supply routes of the gallery of some surface depots, yeah. Alright, satellite. Our own SETI satellite has been just discover, uh, discover, uh, delivered and launched to Martian orbit. It is now operational and will contribute towards the old mission of finding signs of intelligent life somewhere else in the galaxy. Very nice. Uh, polyamorous should be looking good now though. And yeah, metal extraction is going to be important there. More metals is important. Yeah, we just need more workers right now. Just gonna wait for this to pass and uh, to be able to get more colonists, basically. First time, a human has been born on Mars. It's truly a unique miracle. The colonists have always felt like a family, but what makes the family stronger and more united is the promise of a new life and a better future. We have truly been blessed with a rewarding uh, responsibility to carry the torch of hope. That the this blooming or uh, blooming of life serve as a symbol for all humans. Mars is no longer a dead world. Initially, colonists can be called from Earth. Nice. Uh, the door towards the stars. And there's the baby right there. Interesting. Interesting indeed. We a couple of engineers. We also need a couple of scientists. Uh, we got two tourists, um, three known specializations, two botanists, uh, four engineers. Uh, no specialization can work everywhere, so that's okay. Alright, this seems good. Alright, launch them. Get them in. You can't prepare for addiction. Uh, despite the great length of good through to make it safe and, uh, and cl as close as possible to home, one's mind is never too far from the danger of the privilege of being an intra uh, interplanetary pioneer carries. We all find ways to cope with the pressure. Oh dear. Alcohol. Alcoholism. That's not good. Sick colonists. One colonist is Earth, so this is uh, due to low comfort. Earth so can can't work and we'll try to return to Earth. Oh no. Uh, why are you Earth sick? No available building dining. 
Oh, okay, so they're having issues with um, not having any cooked food. Fair enough. Alright, we're gonna diner then. Jeez, it's really hard to get this all going. That's all I can say. We're trying our best here. But we're actually, yeah, I'm not, yeah, not knowing every, um, how everything works is a bit tricky, unfortunately. So that is currently making things a little bit tricky for us. Um, probably more energy here will be good, hey? Never hurts to have more solar panels. This is going to bite me, like, later on. I'm telling you right now, I'm calling it. <laughs> oh gosh, um, yeah, these are all, like, running out really fast, but they do have pretty good base and power production. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. I am slightly concerned about many different things. Oh, we need more workers, we need more everything. Oh my gosh. One person's leaving Mars. I know you want to go back, but like, ugh, that's so annoying. Alright, fine. You going on the passenger? Yeah, you going on the passenger. Fair enough. Alright, what are they um, having issues with? Uh, missing service shopping. Okay, can we get this done as soon as we can? We are in desperate need of all this concrete to move. We're low on those resources now as well. Oh my gosh. This is not looking good. Um, Alright, come on, please. We need more concrete. Build this faster. Build this faster. Please build it faster. Perfect. How many jobs do they have? Vacant 13. 22. Oh, we need way more. Depleted depot. Really? Uh, there's all our concrete. Uh, yeah, wow. Okay. Well... Folks, I feel like we've learnt a lot. My brain is completely drained though from like playing this game. There's a lot to keep up with and I don't know if I... I mean, well, what do I think about this game? I think it's interesting. It's not something that I feel like I play a lot. I don't know. I just don't really see my... Like, I just don't see the... What I'm aiming for. I mean, I guess we're doing the missions right. But then like after the missions, like... It feels like you've basically done the whole game. Um, but it's an interesting concept. Um, it's not too bad. It seems pretty cool. Uh, I definitely recommend doing the tutorial. I might do the tutorial and then I might do a second playthrough and see if that's any better. Um, uh, but other than that, it's not too bad game. I think it's pretty fun. If you do enjoy management stuff, you will definitely enjoy this. You'll see how much management you get and how much you have to, like, get on your toes and stuff like that. It's, it's quite a lot. Um, play it when you have a bit more energy. It's not really one of those chill games, I'd say, unless, um... Managing stuff is just your children, which is fair enough. Uh, but other than that, yes, thank you for watching, folks. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this sort of um, see-through of like, Surviving Mars. It's a bit of a slow game, I'll be honest. Maybe it's because I should be playing more on fast speed. I tend to not like that because I don't like the risk of, like, you know, getting overwhelmed too fast. Uh, but I think, if I, I think playing fast speed early on is also a pretty good idea as well. Play to the tutorial though, sorry, because that is important. Uh, anyways, that's enough blabbering about. I'm going to take a bit of a rest for the rest of the day. And yeah, I'll see you next time, folks. Have a good day. Um, please make sure to drink some water. Make sure you eat well. Make sure to have some good sleep as well, folks. All right, I'll see you around.